everyone. Okay, good. Uh, good morning, everybody, right? <clears throat> okay, so first of all, I just want to check your attendance first. I just want your name and ID student. All right, just type into the line group. One, two, three, go. So everyone um, can hear mm -hmm. my voice clearly, right? Yes or no? เดี๋ยวไปเช็คชื่อก่อนนะครับขอชื่อ ID student ลงไปในไลน์ครับผมAll right, so today class, I'm going to um, let you do like uh, lots of activity. The first one would be like, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you how to answer the mock interview, right? And if you have any questions with, um, you know, English presentation, right? Uh, anything that is related to English presentation, feel free to ask me here. And we are going to do the listening test for part one and two from the TOEIC test. And then we're going to break a bit for 10 minutes. And after that, we can come back to do the test for part five, grammar and vocabulary, and also text completion. Uh -huh. And maybe the last session would be vocabulary. And before we go, that's it. So everyone um, can listen me clearly, right? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. yes, okay, good. Thank you so much. All right, I think all of you done for, um, you know, attendance checks here, right? Just because I just count like uh, um, maybe 50 students coming in already, right? It's 45, 47 here. Okay, on Zoom. Okay, um, to those of you who want, uh, who ready, just type yes here. It is Zoom. Okay, problem, yes, come on, I have. Yes, Diane, I have Zoom, Zoom. <laughs> okay, so um, just only uh, attendance checks that you can type into the line group just because I have to, um, to do capture and then submit all of um, your attendance checks to the committee members. But for the Zoom, right? Um, you can all feel free to type or even if you're ready, just type yes, one, two, three, things like that. So um, it's all about like interactive in the online classes here. Yeah. So everyone in this section got a, a group presentation already, right? Anyone have like, uh, um, so I hope that all of you um, got the group already and um, you can prepare for your team and also just discuss uh, if you have any questions, just because um, the group presentation is all about like, um, uh, I can say it's about talks based learning, meaning that you need to find out um, the possibility of email, right? You can also create your own email or even you can um, pick up from, you know, like a TOEIC exam, right? So it's depend. But I have to say that if you can create your own email, um, just, um, you know, create an email and then reply, it would be great. Just because I think that you can explore the idea and what possible solution or even possible problems, issues that is um, related to the topic, it would be great. But if it is challenging or even it is hard to do that, I would suggest that you can find 
the email from the TOEIC test part safe and reading comprehension, just because I think that a lot of topic that I assigned to you can be found in the TOEIC sources. Actually, you can do both online or even, I mean, you can find from the online sources or even the handout, that's fine, right? Okay, so anyway, if you have any uh, questions about that, just feel free to ask me, just because what you need to do is that you have to find um, at least 10 to 15 questions. So basically, if you can find from the, you know, like, uh, um, TOEIC exam is fine just because uh, mostly a possible, I mean, possible uh, questions would be main idea, um, inference, vocabulary in context, what to do next, things like that, right? Okay, so try to share to your classmate on the, the day that you have to present um, a good presentation to all of you together. Yep. All right, yes, yes. Yes, my Bangla may help. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Yes, here. I think you're ready for the class two, week two here, right? So um, just because um, for, for your class, you study on Monday, I hope that, um, so for your uh, group presentation, right? Um, if you have to, let's say like get off, um, I mean, um, it might be possible to have like vacation day or things like official, uh, you know, day off, things like that. So meaning that um, for each group who did, uh, did, cannot present on that week, you have to postpone or put off to the next week and just run um, to the circle again. That's it, right? Okay, that's it, that's it. Moving to the first one for today. Let me show you. Okay, um, so for this activity, uh, actually I just uh, um, got you uh, do this kind of activity from the previous semester, but I think that we are running out of time. So I just skip for the first activity first, just because it's all about like explore the idea for your speaking here. And then we can do this one because um, it is important for all of you here. All right, I would say that the activity here just called just like that, meaning that you have to prepare yourself to be ready for an English interview, right? Just like that, meaning that if you prepare well and you can get it, that's it. So here, um, I'm going to show you that this is a series of questions for week two, but it's not um, for your preparation for the interview day, just because you have to um, look at in each week that what a series of questions, I mean, interview questions and you can prepare. I just want you to choose two out of five. Let's say like this one, like uh, um, five questions here, right? It's not one out of two. Two out of five, meaning that, first of all, you have to introduce yourself in English, right? For example, like the question number one here. Wait a second. And then you can see like um, for the first question, right? Okay, can you introduce, sorry, a little bit more about you? Meaning that you have to introduce yourself, your name, where are you from, where, did, um, where you graduate. Try to imagine that you finish, um, you know, like a bachelor degree from university or you, you just got, um, I would say that a uh, bachelor degree or you finish your study already. And then um, what are you looking for? I mean, uh, what the position that you are going to apply for, things like that. Just because it's all about like prepare you all for job interview here, okay? So for, for the second question is that what are your possible weaknesses here? Um, plural form here, right? Meaning that you have to talk uh, more than one trait or personality that you think that what are possible um, weaknesses here. Uh -huh. But I think that in order to make sure that the second question is quite good for your answer, you have to handle it. As you mentioned, what the you know negative uh, point or weakness from you, yeah. Um, so let's try to, to, to practice and see something uh, in this class again, all right?
for the next question would be what are your strength and potential for this current position meaning that if you applied for let's say um pr right so do you think are you good at effective communication to handle with lots of customer hair or even like uh, if you are applying for hr or human resources do you think um you have a good trait of um, active listening, things like that. So try to come up that is related to um, the job that you are going to apply, that's it. Uh -huh. Next question would be, are you consider yourself as a good leader? Um, it doesn't mean that you have to say that um, you are going to do a manager position or to become a manager, but I would say that team leader, uh, let's say like uh, when you do a group um, presentations, you have to cooperate or even talk to your peer friends, right? So do you think you, you can decide something, um, you know, personally, things like that to try to share based on your practical experience or personal experience here, okay? And the last question would be, why are you interested in this position? Meaning that why do you like in this uh, to work with um, this company or even this kind of position? Um, provide what to you, okay? So meaning that you have to find or research a bit about a company or um, JD job de description with that particular position. That's it, okay? So today it's all about an example. So meaning that um, for five questions here uh, may not be uh, your, you know, like an interview questions on that day. All right. Mm -hmm. Clear, right? So moving to next one, mock interview here. Mm -hmm. So this is like, um, um, I just going to, uh, to let you do, like um, how to introduce yourself for the first question. So this is an, an, like a, an option or like a, a sample, right? Meaning that you don't have to follow with this kind of, um, you know, guideline, but you need to talk about yourself for the first question first, and then just choose two out of, out of five uh -huh, from a series of questions that I mentioned in each read. That's it. Okay, let's say, can you introduce a little bit more about you? So it's easy, right? But I think that you have to prepare a bit just because... Because some we can All right, I just sent a PDF file to your group. So, so for some of you who studied in iPad, so you can see together. All right, um, so can you introduce a little bit more about you? Meaning that you have to introduce with expression of your confidence, okay? Just because um, the interviewer know already what you, um, who you are or let's say like uh, they're gonna see some CV or resume for you know a bit background of you but for this question what you need to come up with that is that you have to express yourself in a confident way anyway your English ability must be impressed with you know interviewer on that day too for example here well let's start off by introducing a bit about myself I've been an English teacher for almost 10 years. If you just got or graduate from university, graduated from university, you just said like, yeah, I just graduated from university with no um, you know, teaching experience yet or even practical experience here. Uh -huh. Since 2014 up until now, completed a master degree, a bachelor degree in English language teaching. Uh -huh. For you, is um, you are coming from LCI, am I correct? All right, so you can say um, your major or your study here. And learning, all right, and did a foreign language teaching certificate or if you have another degree or, yeah, things like that. So it's all about like your background education here. Okay, and you have to concluding with um, your background education may suit with that 
position that you are looking for. Okay, striving your best to seek an opportunity to work in a leading organization that is very interesting, and that is you come here today. Things like that. Okay, and then next one would be for my working with a number of years of teaching experience here. Okay, let's say that I work as blah, blah uh, English language teaching. Uh -huh. ranging from a uh, secondary school to touring center and university setting with a wide range of teaching differences and expectations. Okay, so what you need to come up is that you have to present your ability, uh -huh, your expertise, or even um, let's say like your, your interest, let's say like that, right? Um, how you can do well, or how, how can you consider yourself that you suit for this position, all right? Uh -huh. And in order to serve the expectation for this career and profession, uh -huh, I'm looking forward for, um, you know, a great contribution that is you apply for this position. So this is the sample, meaning that you don't have to talk about it. Maybe you can talk about the inter uh, more interesting things about you. For example, like you can say like, uh, um, your background education may suit for this company just because it's, um, it is currently that you are quite good at English, things like that, okay? So it's depend, right? Uh -huh. So, but for this question, all of you have to introduce yourself on the mock interview for your, present, uh, as well as your, you know, English presentation on that day. Mm -hmm. Moving to next one, um, I think, this is, um, let, uh, let's say like chosen question, meaning that you have to choose two out of five from the following questions, right? Uh -huh. So let's say like if you choose here, what are your possible weaknesses here? So this is a list of um, maybe uh, weakness that you can come up um, on your interview day. For example, like not taking criticism well. So once um, someone said something bad to you, you feel, um, you, can, uh, you can say, uh, I can say that you felt disappointed or things like that. You cannot let it go, things like that. So um, how you can solve with this kind of problem would be a key to talk about um, weaknesses here, all right? Impatient, how you can handle with impatient to be, um, you know, better way, all right? To, um, to handle with difficulties here, laziness, easy bore, get boring, get bored with someone or something, okay? Procrastinate, procrastination, persistent. Persistent here, meaning that um, it's quite a bit negative meaning, meaning the persistent that you stub on, you don't follow any regulation at all. So meaning if you do a term work, it's quite hard to handle it, is that right? Take things personally. Takes personally mean that you are very emotional. Is that right? So how you handle with this kind of situation? Strong will. I'm not sure what is that. Strong will meaning that you have a strong or overconfidence, things like that. Passive. You just follow any instruction. You cannot even create or think critically. That's it. Or does not like conflict. So actually, I can say that every place, every, every time you have conflict, even if it's a little conflict, for example, like with your friends, if someone says something bad to you, you have to um, feel embarrassed, right? Embarrassed to that word. So meaning that um, conflict can happen to everywhere. So how can we handle it in time? That's it. More chai. If you consider yourself as chai, would be like your possible weaknesses here, how you can handle it. Maybe you can express yourself more, talk more, or uh, make face to face more, uh -huh. eye contact more, things like that. Uh -huh. Lethargic, uh -huh. lazy, or you feel like you're toxic with other kind of people here. Long term planning. <laughs> Long term planning. Sometimes it's just kind of, um, it's great for some organization to see your commitment in that work with long-term planning. But some people may think that it is a bit um, you know, negative for 
uh, weakness, right? Just because long-term planning, meaning that you have no progress in any kind of um, world changing from time to time, that's it. All right, and strict, for example, if a teacher is very strict, so it is a fact to student understanding. So once teacher is flexible, it's okay, just because they can learn together, things like that. So strict meaning that is this kind of um, a bad trait. To me, I think like chart side, just look um, superficial here, okay? Chart side, selfish, just do it for your own. Do, uh, did not um, you know, do with others. Focusing on small detail. Uh -huh. Just do just a little thing. But sometimes um, focus in on small detail may be a positive too, just because sometimes we have to focus. But here, if you say it is your weakness or possible weakness here, how you can handle it, okay? Take blame for other, just projection, just um, you know, like uh, temper on other, everything, things like that. Being straightforward and then greedy. Straightforward is fine for me, but straightforward for some organization is not that good, um, especially for, for, you know, I can say like Eastern culture or Chinese culture, Thai culture, things like that. So we don't have to be straightforward. We have to keep other emotions well too, all right? So it depends, right? Maybe um, you can uh, choose from this kind of thing if you want to prepare for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, future interview here. Greedy, meaning that you're just thinking about yourself. More, um, maybe delegating talk. It's all about like that. When it comes to, um, you know, working as a team, right? So you need to allocate the talks work to your friends or your team members appropriately, right? Equally, things like that. So meaning that if you have a problem with this, how can you handle it? need to be right, stubborn. Stubborn here, meaning that you don't trust anybody else, just yourself. And you want to do, to do anything by your own. So it's hard to do with others, it's okay. Multitasking. Um, multitasking here, I think it's good, but sometimes like uh, um, for some company, they just, don't want to see some people who do lots of things at the same time. For example, like if you are a journalist, you have to write, you have to create something, right? But sometimes if you have to talk with other people too, you have to, you know, um, call out to a potential customer, things like that. For some organization, it's quite fine, but for some part, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh for you know, seeing something in the positive way and allows emotion to show blunt, presenting, impulsive or bossy, things like that. So try to um, you know, consider yourself with this kind of trait. And what's more that you have to add more is that um, how to handle it properly, that's it. So I would suggest that um, you can talk about your personal experience here, just because it would be great for all of you to answer for this question. That's it. Okay, so moving to maybe this is chosen topic two, just because you have to choose at least two out of five, right? So try to see this, I just, um, you know, got it from uh, sources from the internet, right? Uh, so I just want some of you try to read out loud for the first answer first. Any volunteer here? Kayak Anok Siang, Bang Hap, Mime. I can. Yeah. So, can I ask you that for the third, third question here? What are your strengths and potential for a current position? Mm -hmm. I consider my leadership skills to be one of my greatest strengths. During my time as a department head, I successfully merged two teams and organized training programs for all team members to ensure that everyone was confident in their. Mm -hmm. Are you talking now? Just because I cannot hear your voice here. Grace. 
<laughs> it's her internet. Um, oh, really? Because um, just because I cannot hear your voice, uh, uh, could you repeat it again? Is that okay? Uh -huh. um, her internet is not stable. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, can you can you can you repeat it again? I can can start it over again. I can't see the blah blah blah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her. Hello. Yeah. Is it better? Hello. So, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I just switched my Wi-Fi. Sorry. That's okay. okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I consider my leadership skills to be one of my greatest strengths. Mm -hmm. During my time as a department head, I successfully merged two teams and organized training programs for all team members to ensure that everyone was confident in their new role. As a result, we were able to increase sales by 5% within our first month as a new team. I see. So can I ask you that, do you think your strength is your leadership skill? Yes, I uh -huh. definitely think it is because I have helped my team mm -hmm. to gain higher stats than it has previously. And it shows in the work we have done as a group. Mm, all right. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Uh -huh. Okay, Dan. No, Dan, come on. I chat soon, man. All right. Okay. So uh, once you 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 did um you know like a little bit interactive activity here, just because I want to hear from you too. Um, online, right? So it's it's like this. Okay. So next one, would you um who would like to um reading out loud for the second example here? <laughs> Me. All right, good. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> Thanks to my experience as an HR representative, I have gained excellent communication skills. I was responsible for facilitating international workshops for staff members and medi mediated. Right. Yep. Mediator. Any conflict, any conflict in the workplace, I have also completed a course of effective communication from UCLA. All right. So, um, yeah. One more question is that: Do you consider yourself as uh, an effective communicator? Here. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Um, because I have experience and um, study in this field. Mm, I see. All right. Thank you so much for sharing here. Dan, come and learn. So just, a little, um, just like uh, some of you, just because I just want a representative to do with me together, right? So you can hear from your friends thinking just because it, it's, that, it's not that you have to follow any, um, you know, sample version here. I just want to explore the idea that you can, um, you know, you agree or disagree with us, uh, with this kind of um, possible strength uh, to the interview question. Okay, moving to next one. Any volunteer want to read out loud here? I call volunteer next. Mm. Yes, can I? All right. Yes, one, two, three, go. I have five years of experience as a copywriter and consider myself to have strong writing skills. I was promoted to an editorial position after five years at a company. So I have also improved my editing skills thanks to my new role. Mm -hmm. So do you consider your writing skills quite impressive here? Um, it's, it's improved. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think I can write it better and more correctly at the grammar. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for your sharing. Dan, come on, learn. Have... So I can say that a strong writing skill is proper or appropriate um, to those who really want to apply for a copywriter or journalist, meaning that if you are not confident in your writing, you cannot even say it. I mean, like uh, um, to those of you who are good at speaking or other kind of like, uh, um, you know, possibility of uh, other strength or potential. But if you're not make sure that the writing skill is good, 
So you cannot even, um, you know, apply for this kind of position that require years um, writing ability here. This is an option, right? But everyone can talk about your own, um, I mean, your own um, expertise or even, you know, strength here. Next one, any volunteer want to read out loud here? Yes. All right, one, two, three, go. I am really honest. When I feel that my workload is too large to accept another task, Mm -hmm. Or if I don't understand something, I always mm -hmm. let my supervisor know. Supervisor. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you think honest is a key to work anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Why? Um, uh, um, how, um, like, I mean, like, in the workplace, everyone should be honest sometime, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know, like, I don't so do, know. All right. So do you consider yourself as honest person? You have to um, tell something true or you have to rely on others or not? Things like that. Yeah. Yes. I, I think that I am really honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Thank you so much for sharing here. We don't got that new app. Okay. Um, so I just don't want to pressure all of you just because the speaking is just kind of like we have to reflect our ideas. Even it is not um, I mean, so for some question, it doesn't mean that it reflects our um, real personality, but um, just share what do you think, what you can share to your classmate here. And one more, right? The last volunteer, any volunteer want to read out loud? Okay, great. Can I one, who want to go first? Okay. Um, Sirupat, can I choose you first? Okay. All right. One, yeah. two, three. Okay. <laughs> My people skill are my greatest thing. I find it easy to connect with almost anyone. And I often know how to empathize with others in an appropriate way. Mm -hmm. People skills, do you understand this? Like, uh, <laughs> easy to go through with anyone. Uh -huh. So have you heard um, soft skills? Everyone understands soft skills? Do, do you understand soft skills? Have you heard soft skill um, for working? Um, let's say like uh, people skills here, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to add more. It's all about like um, soft skills, right? Soft skills meaning that you, you have um, um, effective communication with other people, including internal organization or even external organization, or even you have to have a, a great trait of um, good listening, active listening and you can understand other people that work together with you. That's it. And we've done it. Done. Just done. First, thank you so much for your sharing. Thank you for everyone. Everyone understood, right? Thank you so much. All right. So I think all of you understood what I'm saying and try to see the possible answer here for your interview day. This is maybe, I can say that this is um, an opportunity to, you know, to practice your speaking skill or even to prepare your interview uh -huh, when you graduated from you know, will graduate with, uh, in this university, right? Okay, that's it. Uh -huh. ah. All right, so uh, it's all about like interview, right? I hope you guys enjoy for this class of uh, interview and sample interview. So what you need to do um, to those of you who, um, who need to present English presentation on week three, try to see the activity, let's say, the activity from, from this one, right? So you just um, remember that gray slide, they have C towel, gray slide would be a key, uh -huh, would be a key for your interview. So just choose, choose first, just because on that day, meaning that for a group one or a group presentation on week three, you need to prepare at least two questions. Um, I'm going to be interviewer and you are the interviewee on that day. So meaning that if you have uh, 10 members on that day, so we need to finish all of 10 students. 
to do interview. And then you, uh, you can get, um, you know, 30% from this kind of activity from this, this class and waiting for a quiz and that's all for uh, a half of your score from this course, that's all, all right? Uh -huh. Happy, man. Happy, Pim. Happy, man. <laughs> Just happy, right? They're very engineer. Mm. All right, good. Um, so for this question, I'm going to let you listen, right? Feel free to listen or even um, if you want to practice, it's fine. You can take note and practice, okay? Just because it's all about test, listening, topic test here, topic listening test basically, okay. Um, so my recommendation to do the test is that you have to practice based on your listening comprehension or understanding what they are speaking, okay? And this is very important for listening skills just because um, you can listen for free um, for fun for like uh, for your leisure time, but uh, for the test, I think you need to focus and concentrate, um, I mean, concentrate a bit just because it is very important to get a good score. And practice active listening here, meaning that for some question requires the understanding of the what they are saying, implication, inferences, or even a deep analysis uh -huh, without, um, you know, conversation. So I think if you can do well, you can get a very impressive score, I guess. All right. So shall we start listening together here? One, two, three, go. Listening together. Tomato Compact Part 1 and 2. Actual Test 2. Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, Find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're working on the road. B. They're talking in a group. C. They're standing on the street. D. They're all wearing glasses. Statement B. They're talking in a group. Is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's staring at the monitor. B. She's opening the file folder. C. She's holding the receiver. D. She's turning on the computer. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The food is being prepared in the kitchen. B. There are chopped vegetables in a bowl. C. There is a stack of eggs in the basket. D. The picture on the table is empty. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. They are copying some documents. B. They are drawing a map. 
C. They're reviewing a menu. D. They're listening to the presenter. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A woman is opening the windows. B. A woman is painting the shutters. C. A woman is cleaning the house. D. A woman is adjusting the painting. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. They are picking some leaves. B. They are emptying their shopping bags. C. They are buying some products. D. They are standing next to some plants. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. He's clearing snow from the path. B. He's feeding his pet dog. C. He's wearing warm clothes. D. He's checking the weather forecast. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The flowers are being watered. B. The tables are set up on the terrace. C. The people are folding umbrellas. D. The gardener is trimming the bushes. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. A man is holding up some clothing. B. They are putting their shoes on. C. A man is designing some footwear. D. They are browsing around a stand. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. A man is sailing a yacht. B. A man is rowing a boat. C. A man is putting up the sail. D. A man is tying up the ropes. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The warehouse has been burned out. B. The warehouse is undergoing repairs. C. The warehouse is being stocked. D. The warehouse store supplies. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Did you call the client today? You will also hear, A, Yes, it lasted all day. B, The phone is on my desk. C, Yes, but she wasn't in the office. The best response to the question, Did you call the client today? is choice C. Yes, but she wasn't in the office. So C is the correct answer. You should mark answer C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. Where did you put the file? A. Sometime last week. B. No, he hasn't filed it yet. C. In the office cabinet. Number 12. Could you give me a copy of the report? A. No, thanks. I don't need one. B. Sure. Here you are. 
C. The photocopier is on the second floor. Number 13. Why is Penny going to Washington? A. I heard she can't come until tomorrow. B. She has a conference to attend. C. Yes, she'll stay at a hotel in town. Number 14. Is Miss Jones back from her lunch break? A. No, not yet. B. It's always breaking down. C. Go forward a few steps. Number 15. What did you give Kyle for his birthday? A. I forgot. Sorry. Happy birthday. B. Yes, he gave it to me. C. I got him a book. Number 16. Would you rather rent the apartment for six months or a year? A. No, it wasn't very long ago. B. My rent is $150 a week. C. A shorter lease would be better. Number 17. Have you seen my cell phone anywhere? A. I wouldn't have looked for it. B. Yes, it's on the kitchen bench. C. How much did you sell it for? Number 18. Did Ms. Jenkins tell you why she lost the client? A. Actually, she found him. B. It happened yesterday, I think. C. They had a dispute about the payment. Number 19. How much did that digital camera cost? A. It was about $500. B. Around three months ago. C. Yes, the company is cutting costs. Number 20. Let's go away for the weekend. A. No, I don't have any special plans. B. He's been away for a long time. C. Did you have anywhere in mind? Number 21. When is your dental appointment scheduled for? A. 9.30 tomorrow, I think. B. Yes, he's a dentist. C. I was appointed last month. Number 22. Why don't you join me for dinner tonight? A. I've already had lunch. B. Sorry, I have other plans. C. Because it's raining. Number 23. Would you mind helping me shift this table? A. Where are we putting it? B. My shift doesn't finish for an hour. C. It's not mine. Number 24. Where are these supplies headed for? A. They're being shipped to Florida. B. He's the head of the marketing division. C. I'm not surprised. Number 25. You went to the sales promotion, didn't you? A. You mean the one in Georgia Mall? B. No, I didn't get promoted. C. It's already gone. Number 26. Which firm did the new recruit used to work for? A. We don't need to recruit any new workers. B. Yes, I'm firmly against it. C. I'm not sure. You should ask her yourself. Number 27. Shouldn't we attend the training session as well? A. I take the train to work. 
B. Well, I made my intentions clear. C. No, I don't think that's necessary. Number 28. When are you catching the bus to San Diego? A. Because of the traffic jam. B. First thing tomorrow morning. C. It'll pick me up outside the hotel. Number 29. Do you want to meet at your apartment or somewhere else? A. My place is fine. B. For the financial department. C. I feel like having something else. Number 30. How long does your daily commute normally take? A. I go by bus. B. Around half an hour. C. He's a communications expert. Number 31. Do you know where the town hall is? A. Yes, it is a big town. B. Sorry, I'm not from around here. C. Just down the hall. Number 32. Rita hasn't come in today, has she? A. Sure, she can come in too. B. I saw her yesterday as well. C. No, she called in sick this morning. Number 33. Haven't you closed any sales deals yet? A. Yes, we're open 24 hours. B. That item is not for sale, I'm afraid. C. No, I haven't had any luck so far. Number 34. Who's responsible for the company picnic? A. Mr. Kim is. B. Yes, I enjoyed it. C. He is very responsible. Number 35. How would you like your coffee? Black or with cream? A. Cream and two sugars, please. B. Thanks. It's really delicious. C. That's my favorite flavor, too. Number 36. Didn't Mr. Clyde return your call? A. He's not returning till tomorrow. B. Was your cell phone on? C. Yes, he left me a voicemail message. Number 37. What are we going to discuss at the staff meeting? A. I wasn't part of the discussions. B. The company's new medical plan. C. Yes, it's tomorrow at the end of the day. Number 38. The movie's set to start at 5 o'clock, right? A. We can go to another screening if you'd like. B. It was fantastic, wasn't it? C. I've never visited a movie set before. Number 39. Can you load the luggage by yourself or do you need my help? A. If it's not too much trouble. B. Yes, I packed my own bags. C. No, it's not loaded. Number 40. Ms. Smith filed a complaint about our customer service. A. Just fill out these forms, please. B. No, I completed it. C. I'll look into it right away. All right. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your listening and practice listening together. I hope that you guys uh, can practice together, right?
practice together is a key here. Okay, um, shall we break for 10 minutes? So I'm, I'm going to say that see you all at 10 and 10. I break the quack. Excuse me, teacher. Uh huh. Could you please yes. show the answer key once again, please? Answer key, right? I'm yes. um, sorry for that. Thank you.
Uh -huh. Okay, everyone ready, right? Okay, so for the second section, it's all about reading and grammar part. So what we need to study um, first, part five. Okay, so everyone can um, see this kind of questions together. All right, so we can start from the question 11 here. Okay, 11. So um, if you got the answer, just type the answer into the, uh, you know, Zoom, right? Chat box here. That's it. Okay, so for the um, 11 question here, I'm going to say that um, Mr. Corner, Corner, sorry. All right. Um, so Mr. Corner um, shows a little regard for the welfare of his employees and refused to offer health insurance. A, hardly. B, boy, precisely. C, cat hair quickly. And D, dog, certainly. Yep. Which one would be the answer here? It's quite hardly. hard. Hardly, yeah, yeah. I think so. Anyone uh, can respond? Okay, can I ask you, Grace, why do you think hardly here? Um, I answered D. Oh, D so dog, right? D dog. It's okay. So certainly, right? <laughs> um, I think maybe it's D because it like maybe emphasize like mm. certainly shows little regard mm -hmm. because if it's hardly it's like um like mm. so it means he would show a lot of attention but i think it's not have to agree that he doesn't regard because at the end it say refuses to offer health insurance mm -hmm. uh, all right thank you so much for sharing here Okay, right. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, sorry for just because um an important issue, someone calling me here. All right, so for this question, right? Um, I would say Miss Mr. Corner shows a little record for the welfare of employees and refute refuses welfare. So um he state that um welfare for his employees might be better than her insurance, right? Hardly true. <laughs> okay, let me check first. Um, precisely meaning that for sure. Precisely, let's say precisely um, decide something, right? Precisely choose something. Quickly chose. 
quickly chose, suddenly chose, little regard, hardly chose, and refuse. So um, in this um, meaning context, we have to see this one, refuses, meaning that um, he reject from this kind of um, health insurance, right? So uh, what you need to choose is that um, he just um, put a little regard, I mean, uh, concern a bit about welfare of employee. So I think, <laughs> I think the answer would go for certainly, precisely, quickly, and hardly, hardly chill. I don't think so. Maybe it should go for, actually, um, this one would be deduct here, certainly, just because the meaning is proper for this kind of context. So everyone type D for me, please. I don't want to come here. Sorry, <laughs> a little bit challenging. So you have to think a lot, think critically, think logically, that's it. All right, moving to next one, recently published findings report that stress can affect people's behavior in blah, 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 blank here, and then different way. A, normally, surely, greatly, and then commonly. All right, anyone can answer for the question to wealth pair. Normally, normally meaning that in daily routine, right? So when it comes to talk about normally, meaning that we have to do something in a daily basis. But here, I don't think this is all about like a daily basis, right? So we can cross A here. Sh I'm sorry, slowly, slowly different way. Slowly meaning that it's not that significant or it can be considered as insignificant here. Greatly, greatly affect, right? Can affect people behavior in greatly different ways. Commonly different way. Uh, which one you can, cho uh, you can choose here? Can you ask someone else? San Sira 089. Did you answer for this question? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Greatly in different way. Okay, so we can um, differentiate between the two. C or D. C or D, okay? Guy Hai. C cat, right? Greatly. Why? Can I ask again, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, why do you um, think it's great, Liz? Not commonly here. Why? I think, like you said, um, like here, because stress, uh -huh. um, I think it should be greatly because, you know, everyone has stress in a different level, in a different mm -hmm. way. And yeah. if commonly, it means all the same. So right. logically, wouldn't be correct. Thank you so much for your sharing here. That's it. Um, I try to ask um, all of you once you uh, put the answer into the chat box, just because I want to make sure that you can get it. Just because for this part, it's not, it's not that easy much, just because you have to uh, make sure that um, which one would be the an appropriate answer. So let's say like um, for this question number 12, we can see like stress would be a key here. So meaning stress, stress out, right? Stress out or when um, you have a pressure with that. So meaning it would be like uh, in a negative way. So when it comes to eliminate the choices here, normally it's positive, is that right? Sh slowly, it would be a little bit um, positive, I guess. Uh, commonly would be normal, right? Okay, and positive too. So here the answer may go for greatly. So everyone type, Everyone type C cat here, okay? So you can see like, just because we stress on, um, we, we um, so let's say like, uh, we have to emphasize on stress, which means that it's all about like uh, negative impact. So the answer may go for greatly, greatly in different ways, that's it. C cat, moving to next question here. 
Um, 13, our July promotion features uh -huh, a fruit basket on arrival and two free bottles of water daily. A, complimented. B, boy, complimentary. Uh -huh. C, cat, recommendation and D, dog here, recommending. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can cross it out for two, um, you know, answers here. I don't think recommendation would be an answer and recommending is not that answer too. So what you need to differentiate is that A or B here. A, check your point. Can I ask you? Yes. All right. Why do you think issues A here? It's telling about the basket. Uh huh. I see. So meaning that um this one require an, an adjective. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So an adjective would be like ed for your thinking for your opinion. Why don't you choose b boy complimentary here? Not so sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much for sharing here. Okay. Um, so um, the July promotion feature. So let's say like we talk about something, right? A fruit basket on arrival and two free bottles of water daily. So meaning that they provide some gift or present things, um, you know, present to the uh, potential customers, things like that. If you said, if we choose B-boy here, right? Complimentary. What does it mean actually, complimentary? Let me check first. Complimentary. Uh -huh. Yeah, B-boy, what does it mean in Thai? <laughs> like free, Pam, free. Uh -huh. Complimentary meaning that free, right? Supply free of charge. What about complimented? Complemented, meaning that um, something enhanced, right, improve or make be, uh, become perfect. So what we need here is all about just because I just uh, crossed it out on um, C and D here, right? So you just differentiate between the two, A or B. So once we said complemented, it sounds like reasonable here, but um, the meaning is not um, suitable for this blank. I'm going to say that the answer go for. Um, goes with um, b-boy hair, complimentary, just because it's all about like, um, um, you know, support, right? Fruit complimentary, complimentary fruit basket hair. So the answer we go for b-boy, everyone type b. B, b, that's all. It's a little bit difficult that I think all of you can do together. Yep, moving to next one, okay, 14. Um, the entire group perform blank considering the challenging circumstances and limited time available. Perform. So we can identify perform here would be in a verb, right? Verb require adverb. So what you need to come up is that you have to find adverb here. A will. Perform will. Is that reasonable, right? Perform best. Perform good and then perform better. Perform well, right? Great, thank you so much. Can I ask you one crew? Oh, seven, nine. Yes. All right, yes. okay. What do you think will would be the answer here? Okay, I think after work, it requires the adjective, mm -hmm. not the adverb. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it, the adjective, yes. Oh, adverb, <laughs> sorry. Adverb, right, yeah, yeah, you can say adverb, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's the best because good it's is adjective and it cannot like uh, put after work. Mm -hmm. And for the B and D, I think it's not suitable mm -hmm. for the bank. So I, I chose A for a. the answer. So that is the right answer. Everyone type A. 
Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Um, so basically, um, here you can see like um, just short answer, but it's a little bit tricky. If you don't know well, right? If you don't um, probably identify that which one would be the, the answer here, I can say best would be the superlative here, right? But it's not an adverb, it's all about adjective. Good, um, you know, good is all about adjective and better is a comparative here, meaning that you need to come up with than, better than something, that's it. So the answer will go for A, type A, if you wish to get an A. <laughs> Moving to next one, right? Um, 15, uh, if you are the last person to leave uh, the office, do not forget to, to close the door, blank, uh -huh. on the way out to ensure no one can break in. A, in intensely, B, boy, approximately, C, cat, loudly, and D, dog, here, securely. Oh, God. Which one would be the answer? Um, I would say that for this question, I think you can translate it and then you can get the answer here. That's correct. So the answer we go for D, dog, Everyone type D for me, please. All right. So I can say that intensely, meaning that um, emphasize on something or you stress on something, right? Intensely studying English with a gender do, things like that. Approximately, it's all about around or about. For example, like I'm going to, um, to reach there approximately in 15 minutes, loudly, meaning that you're... Um, you make something louder, loudly, right? So it's described a verb here. Okay, and the last one, securely means security. Meaning that we can see like the context here, it's all about close the door, securely, completely, that's it. So the answer we go for D dot here. D, not D, 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 D property. <laughs> Next one, we are sending this laptop computer for repair because we could, I'm sorry, we cannot figure out what is the blah, blah, blah with it. A, error. B, boy, substance. C, cat, burden. And then G, dog, matter. Someone say A, boom. Oh, nine, seven, are you there? A corrupt okay? Can you answer for question number 16 to your classmates, please? Chair. I think it's A because uh, it's about uh, electronics, so it should be um, error. Mm -hmm. So the A, right? So the A, okay. Let's say like the, the answer is A. Everyone type A for me, please. A error, right? The error with it. Just because the laptop is all about like, um, you know, a function, right? Things like that. So when it, um, you know, went wrong. So it's all about error. So we can see like uh, for the uh, for the second one, uh, substance here, it's all about like component, right? Or substances, things like that. So when you talk about um, chemical substance, it's fine. But here it's not that the, the right context. Burden, meaning that difficulty or it's a lot, right? Hard working, things like that. So it is an adjective, but it requires now after that. For example, burden talks work, let's say. Matter here, um, it can be both work or now, right? So for example, like it doesn't matter. So meaning it's, it's all about work, but matter of fact, it's all about now. So we have to differentiate the part of speech in each word together. So the answer will go for A. Type A for me, please. A, 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 Moving to the next one. Management wants the sales force to emphasize only the positive blah, blah, blah of our newly launched product line. A. Features, B boy decades, C cat factors, and D dog features. To emphasize only the positive, blah blah blah. So, what do you think the possible answer here?
Mm -hmm. All right. So um, first of all, I can translate in each word first. Um, so let's say fixture. So you can see the root word here, fixed, meaning that something can be fixed, right? Fixtures, it means that something broken and you can fix it. And you can say fixtures here. Uh -huh. Decades, it's all about period of time, right? 10 years, things like that. Factors, factors, contributing factors or important factors. And then features here, it's all about um, appearance, right? Or, you know, you can say like, um, it says, um, yeah, features. So why do you think A, Grace? Um, no, no, it's not 17, right? You have to, uh, you have to answer for the question 17 first. <laughs> So for the question 17 here, the answer will go for D doc features, right? Just because let's say like uh, if you, you are going to buy iPhone, right? So what you need to come up at the first glance is all about the features. It's kind of track lots of uh, customer here. So the answer will go for D. Everyone type D for me, please. D doc here, D, 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 D property. <laughs> All right, moving to next one. Our workshops on corporate blank teach companies how to avoid white collar crimes. White collar crimes. White collar meaning that those people working in the office. Okay, so if you can say white collar, is that right? Okay, and such as um, indicator reading, A, an obligation, B, boy, function. Seek out profitability and then deduct accountability. So obligation here is all about regulation or rules, right? Function, function, functional or functions. Profitability, so like that, if you get more money, you can say profitable or profitability. Accountability is all about like, um, um, I can say uh, commitment or responsibility here, yep. So the answer would go for, can I ask Grace, just because you did answer for this question already, right? Yes. Why do you think A would be the best answer here? Yeah. I think A, because it's about like rules and regulation, like you said, obligation, mm -hmm. and it's to teach them how to avoid the crimes. So mm -hmm. it should be about the rules. I see. Thank you so much for your sharing. That's it. All right. So the answer may go, it's not may, it's, it is obligation here. So everyone type A for me, please. Like color. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's all about rules and regulations. Uh, let's say like legitimate or laws. That's it. All right. Everyone understood, right? Okay, good. A, 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 oxide, now you have, all right. Moving to next one, our state of the art cash register. Uh -huh. Our state of the art, meaning modern, right? The largest modern of cash register here is blank recommended since it can also track your inventory. A, strongly, B, boy, dramatically, C, cut directly and deduct proficiently. So you can say like uh, it's all about adverb here, right? Strongly recommended, dramatically. So here, dramatically would be like uh, something changed. For example, like dramatically decreasing, dramatically increasing, okay? Uh, and directly, you direct to me and I direct to you. So meaning that if you have any question, you can directly contact me for more explanation, things like that. And the last would be proficiently. Um, it required now as a person or agent here, proficient worker, proficiently working in the business context, things like that. So the answer would be, A, right? Strongly recommended. Anyone can share? Um, Kitchawi. Oh, six, five. Why do you think A for question 19? Uh, because 
I think is a uh, the better answer for this contact. Mm-hmm. Like strongly recommended. All right, thank you so much. So we can see like strongly agree or strongly recommend it, strongly advise things like that. So when we put the word together with verb or some kind of verb, we have to see collocation, meaning that um, in each word, in each word, um, I can say that in each word, right, must uh, goes to get uh, go together with uh, the word properly, right? Okay, so here strongly recommend it would be the answer. Everyone type A for me, please. A, 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 R. <laughs> the last one would be the company has hired outside consultants to work on the project, which will be divided into A, phrases, B-boy, period, C, cat, phases, and then deduct particles. Into phrases, period, phase, phase, phases, all right? And then the last one, particle. So I don't think that deduct here would be the answer. Is that right? Phrase, also not the answer. Just um, differentiate between the two. A, I'm sorry, B-boy or C-cat here. Someone said C again, Grace. Why do you think C cat hair? Like um, phase, maybe like the stage of the project, like phase one, phase two. Mm-hmm. So what about period hair? Period. That I mean, it's it's very close. It could also be correct, like period of time. I don't know. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Thanks. Okay, um, I have to say that it's kind of like, uh, it's a little bit confusing when it comes to do the, uh, you know, the test uh, with limited time. I mean, like a photoic, photoic test, meaning that you have to handle the test within a chart of time, right? So let's say for part five, I'm going to say that you have to finish, uh, let's say if you have to do for 30 questions, so you have to finish, uh, within 15 minutes, that's it. So meaning that in each, um, in each question, you have to do just only um, 30 seconds, that's it. So here, the answer will go for C cut here, phase. Everyone type C for me, please. Okay, Pim C, um, I can say that period, period of time here, but we can say like the, the meaning here is all about state, just because they conduct a project or they did a project together in um, you know, a company. Meaning that if we talk about periods, so we have to specify the range of time, for example, like period of time, a period, period, like yeah, during this um, five months or 10 years, things like that. So you need to identify the phrase of time. Um, I mean, time, uh, time phrases, actually. So here would be phrase, C cat, apim C cat pom. Okay, we need happy clear. We have clear, him clear. Need no, no, no. So which pen? Pass out Thai bag. Now, dear, we are blur. Like, oh, sorry. Uh, um, so actually, I, I, I thought uh, lots of uh, classes with ECP, right? So mainly, I have to teach uh, in Thai. But here, it's all about um international program, or uh, I suppose to teach in English. That is the reason that I have to come up to all of you today together, right? So if you have any question with that, uh, with this kind of questions, just feel free to ask me, or even um, if you don't, let's say if some of you don't understand, just um, raise your hand and then ask for more explanation, it would be great. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we have to do more on the test. I'm going to give you um, two minutes first, two minutes, okay? Part six here. What you need to do is that um, find the main idea first. Okay, just uh, look at the first sentence in order to make sure that you can get the main idea here. Or even you have to um, read entire an article first and then just catch the main idea. Once you got the main idea, just type into the Zoom, 
That's it. Two minutes. Okay. All right, everyone. Okay, so what is the main idea here? Anyone can share, volunteer? <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, an interview appointment. An interview appointment is correct, good. So everyone can type to me, interview appointment. <laughs> I had a pim. Okay, let's say like you can type interview for chart or interview appointment here. It's all about main idea. I just wanna make sure that you have to understand the main idea first, just because text completion, it might be more challenging than incomplete sentence here. Once you did not get the real understanding for the main idea, you cannot even catch how well you can put the right word to the right answer here. All right, we are pleased to inform you that um, you are one of finalists in our search uh -huh, to the position of chef uh, poster for Pan Globe Airline. So, which means that it's all about airline industry here. After, uh -huh, after reviewing, okay, so let's say here, reviewing here, when we identify the grammar or structure here, so you need to see like reviewing is all about work. So, what we need before work is all about. Um, I can say at work. So try to mark for this blank. We need at work here, okay, for your resume. We'd like to invite you to the head office to Chicago for an interview. So here, um, if you cannot uh, find, um, you know, the main idea, try to look at the, the first, um, I mean, the first paragraph, the last sentence of the first paragraph. For example, I like to invite you here to the head office of Chicago for an interview, meaning that the main idea here is all about like interview invitation. So, okay, that's it. All right, moving to next one, the interview, Tuesday. So you can say like the interview is not an agent here. It's not a person, all right? So we need passive form. The first one is at, at work. The second one is at, um, you know, let's say passive form will be or, is being plus past participle here with three things like that. So you understood it already, right? Tuesday morning, December 15 at 10, at um, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. It's all about detail, right? We have reserved a room for you, blah, blah, blah. It's all about detail too. So we don't have to, um, you know, uh, reading much. It's all about detail. So what you need to see is that the last blank here, Successful candidate mm -hmm. on Monday. Successful candidate is all about like a person who will be notified, who will be proposed or pick up on that day, right? So meaning that um, we need, I think it is 
um, it is possible to uh, put such a passive form here for blank three. Okay, so let's move into uh, the answer here. Um, so do you think A, which one would be the correct answer here? Taking care with care carefully or caring about? So you can see like the level of word would be more challenging or a little bit difficult than um, part five here. Uh -huh. But it's not that hard. I can say that you can do it. Mm -hmm. So what we need to uh, understand is that we need, um, I can say we need adverb here, right? So the answer will go for C cat. Is that right? Uh, let me check. Right. After carefully reviewing, all right? So the answer would go for C cat. Everyone type C for me, please. C cat, C, C, C. That's it. Moving to second question here. So as I mentioned earlier, it's all about like uh, something must be done, right? Maybe it takes time in the present time, uh, future or past form. So it's different on the time, right? And for this one, um, let me check again. So the interview is an object, it's not a person. Uh -huh. And we can specify here Tuesday morning on Tuesday morning, things like that, right? Try to like at the answer. So we need on here. So the answer would be <laughs> on Tuesday, right? On Tuesday morning, again, on Tuesday morning, December, just because we specified the date, exact date, all right? So the answer would go for B boy. Everyone type B for me, please. Uh -huh. So everyone have to get it and try to um, look at it. That's because it is important. So here, if you, you say that will be important, will be scheduled for, for uh, meaning that um, responsible for, so the right word must be followed by with for, right? Responsible for things like that, schedule on, on exact date, schedule in, in the city, right? Schedule at, at location. So meaning of uh, preposition is quite different here. So the answer is just only go for B-boy, that's it. Next question would be, will be notified, will be reported, will be presented and will be prosecuted. Okay. Let's say successful candidate here, is that right? Successful candidate will be something on Monday. Imagine that you are the last candidate, so you're waiting for the result, right? So you have to be notified, is that right? So the answer will go for A, that's correct. Those of you who wish to get an A, type A for me, please. <laughs> that's it. So if you choose reported, meaning that something should be reported or must be report, reported, right? And then if you choose presented, meaning that you are asked to do something you have to be presented on that day uh -huh. and the last one would be prosecute is all about like um i can say this one would be is related to law right law or something um on operation here so the answer would go for a a a a that's it q a q a do <laughs> all right thank you so much for uh active participation here um, one more, I think you need for more understanding for this kind of text completion, just because I think it's useful for all of you. I'm going to give you time to minute and then just find out the main idea for me, please. Uh -huh. If you wish to speak, just turn on your microphone and speak up. But if you wish to type, just type, type it in the chat box here.
All right, everyone. So, what is the main idea for this passage? Any volunteer can be uh, can share to your classmate here. They are talking about managers. Is that right? <laughs> Responsibilities and requirement uh, to recruit for a manager. Is that right? Or oh, anything else? Management training, management consultant, blah, blah, blah. So everyone can type for me, please. Managers. You just said managers. <laughs> managers, okay, okay. Everyone type managers would be the topic sentence or keyword for this kind of passage, right? Maybe we can, um, you know, look at into the details, but I think the core, um, you know, topic here would be managers, that's all, right? Okay, look at um, the first blank together. Over the last 10 years, the number of people entering to entering manager roles. A number of people here would be a subject. So we need predicate or it's all about action, right? So we can say like it depends on um, tenses here, maybe um, present perfect tense, present simple tense, or even future simple tense. But you can say like over the last 10 years here, right? So meaning that it requires, um, you know, a present perfect tense. Just look at the right answer here. A present perfect tense would be was is not a present perfect. Is that right? Were, I don't think so, just uh, past form. So we can cross A and B here. Uh -huh. So what you need to do is differentiate between the two, C cat or D dog has increased significantly and have increased dramatically. So look at the number of people. When we say a number of people, it considered as plural form, okay? A number of people, plural form. So the number of people would be singular form. So we, we need has or have, say cat, Thank you so much, please. Okay, that you answer for this question. Everyone type C to me, please. Uh, C, will I have CPR? <laughs> so uh, it's a little bit challenging. So what we need to um, uh, understand or study with me is that try to identify which one would be the correct and incorrect answer here. That's it. Moving to next blank here. Managers in virtually all kinds of industry are assuming increasing responsibility while you're still ensuring that they blank their routine requirement. Day. So we got now already, right? So we, um, so we need, let's say we need work, but the work must be related to routine requirements, requirement, expectation responsibility, commitment, is that right? Look at the answer here. Meet requirement, deny requirement, search requirement, look requirement. What would be possible answer here? If you have to get an A, you have to meet my expected requirement. Is that right? Meet requirement. So the answer would go for only a, A, you can say, A, 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 so meaning that we are considering, um, you know, the last blank here. It is inevitable that managers are faced with many issues and problems. Inevitable meaning that unavoidable, right? It is true, right? It is, um, you know, common, things like that. Managers are faced with, face encounter, experience many issues, many problems, is that right? 
So meaning that we need description here for a delay basis on a daily basis with a daily basis throughout a daily basis. So it's, uh, it's all about like um, expression, right? So we have to, um, you know, expose to their reading a lot when it comes to decide which one would be the right answer here for a daily basis on a daily basis with a daily basis or throughout a daily basis. Uh, when it comes to talk about for, meaning that we need a purpose here, right? When we talk about with, we need an agent, like with friends, with teacher, with a dan do do, things like that. When we talk about throughout, meaning that you have to cover entire, right? Throughout 10 years, throughout um, the end of the day, throughout the end of the month, blah, blah, blah. So the answer will go for B boy, that's it. Uh -huh. Everyone type B for me, please. That's all about text completion here. I think you enjoy for my explanation here, right? If you enjoy, just type X, Y. I quite enjoy Pim X, Y. I don't know. crown, eh? All right. Thank you so much for your um, active participation. I'm really happy and I appreciate to all of you that you can type everything that I um, just let you do in this classroom. I think it's enough for today explanation and today lesson. And I'm going to ask you to do a homework for uh, part six, you can feel free to take time, right? And take your time to consider in each um, blank and what you learn today, you can practice by your own. Just because I think that if you just listen, you don't even practice, I don't think that you can better understand. So meaning that if you have time, right? It's, um, it's an, op an option, meaning that I do not force everyone to do that just because I think that um, it's about um, your commitment or you can uh, do when you have a free time, right? So this is maybe your homework. One, two, three, four, five, a lot, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, I think. Uh, that's it, Oi. Okay, so shall we start doing vocabulary together? They call that bit time vocab. They have all right. So for this come for this vocabulary, I think I just want to enhance more and more vocabulary as much as possible. So for today class, I'm going to ask some of your volunteer, maybe one or two students, to capture this kind of vocabulary. Uh -huh. The uh, activity เก็บคำศัพท์ให้หน่อยนะครับเพราะมันสำคัญ all right all right so if you're ready i think um, you understood the rule or regulation how to do this kind of activity already right just look at um, your own number and then um, choose it find the meaning and find two synonyms together right oblivious distinctively progressive conventional disguise Isolation, unapproval, deceitful, obviously. And the last one would be interruption. One, two, three, go. Bye, love.
So 50 students, 50 students done for this vocabulary 2.1, right? Okay, so we can wait for, um, you know, the rest of the student who can talk to this kind of activity together. So I just want a volunteer, right? Maybe you can capture um, or just um, copy for this kind of vocabulary. That's only, um, I think it is important that you have to recall a bit in order to make sure that you can get something from this kind of vocabulary here, vocabulary activity. All right, so uh, when, you, when you capture already, right? Just post, post it into the, you know, the note of your line group uh -huh, together, okay? So everyone can, um, you know, review this kind of vocabulary together. I think it's enough. Okay, so moving to next one, right? I'm going to type done here. Done for 2.1. That's it. Moving to next one. It's all about appearance. So we have already understood with this, right? Ex exoticism, I'm not really sure. It's quite challenging. <laughs> Conversely, hard working, laziness, laziness, right? Generosity, accommodation, emptiness, contribution, exasperated, exasperated, wow. Okay, one, two, three, go, bye, love. Okay, 43 students for vocabulary 2.2. Two. Okay, we can wait for, we are waiting for the rest of you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it, great. I think it's enough for <laughs> the second activity. I, I mean, it's not the second activity, it's all about like uh, vocabulary expansion here. That's it. Okay, um, shall we type done, right? For 2.2. And the last session, the last session for vocabulary would be, okay, I'm going to finish it first. One, two, three, go. Moving to next one, 2.3 here. Okay, if you wish to get 850, you have to recall this kind of vocabulary. Affordable, allowance, uh -huh. investment, in-depth 
tetanus, oh God. Expenses, financial, infirmity, repellent, willingness, and then sarcastic hair. All right, one, two, three, go. All right, I think all of you are done for 2.3 here, right? I guess just because <laughs> maybe 50 students tied um, in this Zoom already, so this is enough. Um, I just want volunteer again, just because I think that you have to keep it, right? Just because um, your friend tried to type and we can um, you know, help to each other. So if um, you can have like a volunteer to keep it and then post into the um, note, it would be great. That's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. And done for um, 2.3. And the last section for today is all about before we go. I need to say that um, this kind of activity just um, giving you an opportunity to practice your writing. Okay, so I don't think that it might be common much just because um, let's say like uh, it's, it's all about like a fresh idiomatic expression or even some kind of thing that you can use to, um, I mean, get familiar with this kind of language ability, right? So here today, I'm sorry, maybe this is wrong here. Let's say, okay, to activity, this is self-electricity. Try to create or write a meaningful sentence here right? before you go, right? Before we ended up with this class of teaching here. Save energy, save money, save one strength. For example, like save my strength, save your strength, save, sorry, save someone a seat. Sorry for misspelling here. Save, okay, it's not sad. Save someone a seat, meaning that you reserve something for someone. Save someone life, meaning that you help me. For example, like a time do do save your understanding of grammar and vocabulary. So 
I can say that I save your life. That's it. And then save something to a dick. Uh, let's say like you keep it secret. Um, I mean, you, you keep something, right, for a confidential or even keep it secret. And then save space. Uh -huh, save time. And then save yourself the trouble. Meaning that you can handle it. It's okay. So it's all about like the idiomatic expression in English here. Okay, once you're ready, you can type here and just feel free to ask for any questions before we go. Or if you've done everything, you can leave out from this soon. Thank you. Ajahn Ha. Ka Pong. Could you please like open the Google Doc link, like the blank one? So I will post the vocabulary because I saved it since last week because uh, there is not enough space to put in the note. I see. Yes. All right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I'm going to do it later. Um, you mean like uh, I have to create Google Doc? Is that right? And then just yes, share yes. into the line group. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm doing it. Yeah. All okay. right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, those of you, if you have any inquiries or questions, feel free to ask, especially for your presentation. Just because um, lots of students ask me, uh, again, for your presentation, I can say that um, it is required that you have to um, present in English, all right? My uh, purpose uh, for uh, you know, letting you do this kind of presentation is that I just want you to deep understand with the email writing as well as understand the test format for the new TOEIC test in reading comprehension, email and reply, right? What you need to do is that come up with two or three email reply uh -huh, with a different situation based on the topic given or you have chosen topic already, right? And then try to find a possible answer and um, let's say, um, you know, like, let's say like a question and answer from a TOEIC test, or even you can create. But I would say that if you have created a question, you have to think about the main idea, inference, implication, vocabulary in context, and what to do next. That's it. Okay, everyone understood, right? That's it. Mm -hmm.
Um, excuse me, I have a question. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so for the next week presentation, do you want mm -hmm. their interview questions? Um, so for the next uh, for the next week, right? So you are um, you 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 are in a group three, uh, group one for week three presentation. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So um, after you did a presentation, right? Uh, let's say like uh, the class begin, and I just let um, the group presentation present into your classmate for half an hour. After that, let's say like your group members, let's say nine to ten students have to waiting for. Just because I just random in each student and then try to ask them. So what you need to prepare is that you have to see the um, a questions for interview, right? For week three. And then just choose two out of, um, let's say two out of five and then prepare for your own version, okay? Uh -huh. So you can, you can choose the same question with your friends or even a different question with your friend, that's fine, but I just argue to choose at least two out of five. So on the interview day, meaning that you have to prepare as well as um, your presentation and interview. That's it. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.
All right, so now we have eight students. <laughs> All right, if you did it, right, feel free to um, say goodbye and see you next week. Uh -huh. Appreciate, we all of you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me too. All right, so now we have Sang Rui done. You're done already, right? Sang Rui. <laughs> and then um, who else can be? One crew, are you there? Still here, right? <laughs> uh, one crew done already. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh huh. Any questions so far? Are you happy with my class? Yes, exactly. I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically, it's all about like your yeah, activity. Just because um, this is all like class. I just want to make sure that all of you can do something interesting together. Yeah. That's it. But I hope you guys got um, any knowledge or some tip and strategy for a TOEIC test. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, so much fun. Okay. And I have Yeah, sound. Um, so now we have five students here. Yep. All right. Hope you have a nice day and, um, you know, having lunch. Right. Okay. So actually, so the class will be, you know, like, um, um, let's say, like, I'm going to say that lots of activities that you can do together, but I really um, expect that you can perform yourself in, um, you know, with English speaking or even um, understanding from this kind of lessons. Yeah, that's it.
All right. I think um, shall we leave now? I have to say thank you so much for all of you to uh, to study with me, and I have to finish a class just already. This and see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you.